Okay, we've made it to the last lesson in our animal adaptations unit. This is the one that's going to show me all the things that you know about animal adaptations. This is an art lesson and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's take a look at our objective first, just like always. Here it is. After you get to pick some characteristics of an environment or habitat, um, you will use the application on our iPads called Scribble Press to invent your own animal who's adapted to survive in that habitat. And then at the end, we'll publish all of our illustrations into an ebook. So this will be an ebook full of made up animals. Over here is an image that I found of a made up animal. Yours will probably be even more creative than this. So this is how it works. You'll see that I have four columns here. These describe the way that the animal lives and the way um, that the animal's habitat is. So, you can choose one item each from these columns. So, you want to choose a place where your animal lives. You want to choose a way for your animal to get around. You'll need to choose something for your animal to eat. And you'll have to choose a way for your animal to defend itself. You can think of other adaptations. These are just examples but make sure they fit into each of the categories. So you need an adaptation for the place that the animal lives, an adaptation for the way that the animal moves around, an adaptation for the way the animal gets its food, and an adaptation for the way the animal protects itself. If you want to use these ones that I have on here, you may do that. If you'd like to think of your own, that's fine, but please see me first and make sure that they are a-okay. So. Once you've chosen all of your animal adaptations, you get to use the iPads app Scribble Press to illustrate your animal. Now the great thing about Scribble Press is that not only can you illustrate, but you can also include some text. So I need you to label all of your animal's adaptations to its environment. If your animal lives in a cold place and has lots of thick fur, make sure you label that on your illustration so I know that's an adaptation to its environment. When you're done, all of the illustrations will be published in an ebook and we'll put that out on the internet for everybody to see. Now, as always, you can ask me questions about this. You can send me emails. I have a box right here for that. And I think you'll enjoy this activity quite a lot. I'm really excited to see all that you know about animal adaptations.